Hi, it's Tessa, and I'm here today with my June favorites and not-so-favorites. I'm going to start with my favorite things, and then I'll get into my not-so-favorite things. Um, let's start with face powder. I've been using this face powder from Revlon Nearly Naked and Fair like crazy. Um, so much so that I have hit pan on it. And it looks like this. It's a really nice smooth feeling powder. Um, just has a nice texture. I really like it. The next thing I've been using like crazy is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation in 220 Nude. Um, I'm actually almost done with it. I'm going to have to get another one. I'm on a no-buy for 30 days. I think I've made it a week so far. But I did decide at the beginning of it if there was an exception this time, like if I ran out of something that I use all the time, I will get not crazy, not buying anything like the last time. Uh, then I have this, what is it called? Idle Eyes Wet n Wild Cream Eyeshadow Pencil in Electro. It's 131. It's a blue eyeshadow stick and it looks like this. I have it on under my eyes today. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's just so pretty. It gives a nice pop of color to your eyelid or your lash line, whatever you decide to use it on. Then I have this, um, I think it's called Natural Smokes. Maybelline Expert Wear Natural Smokes Eyeshadow Quad. I love this little quad. I've been using it like every day this week. And it's really, really nice. The two colors... I'm not going to swatch the base because here's the light color, the medium, and the dark. Um, just really pretty colors, and they look so nice together. So I've been getting a lot of use out of that. Then I have a mascara. My friend Deanna sent me this. It's the Volume Glamour Max Bourjois uh, Mascara. I'm guessing you can probably buy this wherever Bourjois sold. ASOS.com has it, and so do other websites. It has a really thick brush, but it does a really nice job of lengthening and volumizing the lashes. She also sent me this Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Celestial. Now, at the time she sent these to me, you couldn't get the show off, which is the American version of the London version of Apocalypse. But you can now get them here, and I do want some more colors because it has just the the best wand. The pigmentation is phenomenal. I just love this. Then I have, I keep wiping off my hand because I have clothes to show you, and I don't want to get it all over. Casey Holmes, or It's Blondie, raved about these Jordana uh, blushes, and this is in Touch of Pink. And she is not a kidding. These blushes are so pigmented, you don't really notice it maybe as much on my hand. But if you put this on your cheek, it's like pow, pigmentation galore. I like these blushes a lot. I bought two of them, but the Touch of Pink is my favorite color out of the two I bought. Then I have some nail polish. This is the Wet n Wild on a Trip. It's number 213C. It's just a medium purple color. It has one of those, if you've never seen Wet n Wild nail polish before or really noticed, it has a huge flat bristled brush. So it's really easy to apply like one to two little swipes and it does the whole nail. And then I have, this is hands down my favorite nail polish of this whole season, maybe the whole year. Um, this Julie G Cabana Boy nail polish. It's like a blue with a purple under, undertone, and every time I wear it, everybody's like, what kind of polish do you have on? You can get it for $3.99 at Rite Aid or on jessiesgirl.com. I love, love, love this nail polish. I cannot say enough good things about it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I also have the Out the Door top coat that I got at Sally's Beauty Supply. This is my favorite top coat. Uh, it doesn't get yucky like and gummy like the Sush Feet, and it dries nice and fast. And it has a good shine for me. I don't see any problems with it not being as shiny as anything else. Uh, then I have, this is an on the fence product. This is a product that I love the color of. And it's 
Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear and Blew Me Away. I love the color, love the formula, love every single thing about it until I go to take it off. And then it stains your fingernails, even with a base coat, your fingernails, your whole finger around it, like everything is blue. It looks like you have some kind of hypothermia. It, just your whole hand and you're scrubbing in the shower trying to get it off. It is a mess. But while it's on your fingers, it's really pretty. So that's an on the fence product. It just has a con about it that I'm not happy with. Then the two products that I'm not happy with, this one, ugh. I wanna like this product. I wanna love this product. In theory, I do love it and I'm going to try it more. I'm not ready to give up on it yet, but it's the Lorac 3D Liquid Luster Drop. And this one is in the silver shade. And it's like these little shimmer drops that you put on and your eyes look so amazing until it falls on your cheeks and it's up here and it's in your eyebrows and it's on your nose and it just won't stay so I need to figure out something that will glue these puppies to my eyelids because a base isn't working and pushing it on with a brush isn't working so I'm holding out hope that there's a help for these yet but um oh I love those and then the last thing I have did not work for me. It's the Cover Tox 10 by Transitions Formula. It's a uh, translucent medium powder. There's nothing wrong with the powder itself, but it oxidizes on me. And it does it on any foundation I use it over. And it doesn't take long. It's not like hours later, slowly it oxidizes. I'm talking like half an hour later. I look like I have a tan and my face doesn't match my neck, and it's a mess, so I don't like this powder. Now, the last favorite of the whole summer is maxi skirts and maxi dresses. I am a huge maxi skirt and maxi dress wearer, so much so that I rarely wear shorts. I just love maxi skirts and maxi dresses. I have three examples here to show you. Um, this is a maxi skirt. And it's just a cream colored with a band and then it has like flowers on the bottom and you can actually pull this up to your chest line and wear it as a maxi skirt I mean dress as well and these two still have tags on them because I haven't worn them yet this one I actually bought last year at Ross for $11.99 and I just haven't had a chance to wear it um, I don't know why I drug it all over with me I went to the beach I took it there just this really pretty long dress it's a beautiful material and then it has these beads on it that go up around the neck like a halter so it's really pretty you don't have to wear it like a halter you can wear it just tie it or whatever you like to do and then this one i got this year at walmart for seven bucks on clearance i think it was last year's style but it's a chevron print gorgeous dress i love this dress i had it on this morning i have a wedding to go to next saturday and i was trying to think of what i wanted to wear and this is one of the things that I thought of wearing. And it also has like wooden beads that you can wear as a halter style. Um, and I have a maxi dress on, or a skirt. Let me see if you can, I don't know if you can see it or not. I stand on that chair, but it has wheels. Um, it's like an Indian print. Can you see that? Like an Indian print. And then it has a band on the bottom really pretty. I had this one a long time. I got it from Charlotte Ruth. All right, that's everything. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great July coming and I'll see you again soon. Bye.